False your oif, go clar in the shot in the shot. You're all very welcome to Trim. To the banks of the Boyne. To the Boyne Valley Activities Rafting and Kayaking Centre, where lots of people are having great fun on the river. Matt, what about singing a verse of that song you sang a couple of weeks ago? You know, the one about messing around on the river. Ah, go on, Matt. Okay. Cruising down the river on a Sunday afternoon With one you love the strong above Waiting for the moon The old accordion playing A sentimental tune Cruising down the river on a Sunday As I walk around Trim, on the footpaths and the streets, I often see strange things, unusual things, thrown at the side of the street or footpath. And often I take a photograph of these things, and sometimes even write a poem. Don't tell anyone about the poems. One day I saw head of a broken brush. So I took a photograph and I wrote this poem, which is a haiku. It's a poem of three lines with certain rules about the number of syllables, but that doesn't really matter. I call it Brush Haiku. Unable to sweep clean a year's dreadful contagion. Let's brush up on care. Now we're going to have Matt singing with the Scottsdale Symphony Orchestra in 1987. And they're singing Smiling Through. And we're including this because it's a well-known John McCormick song. So we're including it as a tribute to John McCormick because his birthday occurred last Monday, the 14th of June. And Matt, of course, blames John McCormick for his own personal journey through the world of song. This song was also Matt's mother's favourite, and it was her party piece. So here's Matt from 1987 with the Scottsdale Symphony Orchestra. to strand his side while two eyes of blue come smiling through at me there's a great lock or two in the brown There's some silver in mine too, I see. But in all the long years, when the clouds brought their tears, those two eyes of blue kept smiling through. And if ever I'm left in this world all alone, I shall wait for my call patiently. And if heaven be kind, I shall wait there. this show.
short break. When I remember the house where I grew up, I remember my mother. The things she said and left unsaid. Wait till you see this. I found it in Granny's. Now, isn't he the image of your Uncle Jack? Who's this? It's you. Makes a grand cup of tea, Barry's. You look so... Young? I was going to say beautiful. It was no beauty. But I was beautiful that day. Did Dad take it? No. It was... someone else. Would you... like some more tea? All right. Turn the moment gold with Barry's Gold Blend Tea. Well, friends, I hope you are all keeping very well. And I hope you do like this little bit of scenery that I brought in just to ah, brighten things up a little bit. We can't fly out to the sun, so here's the next best thing. Import a little bit of it. So friends, um, today I thought I would sing a, a John Denver song, Country Roads, Take Me Back, and what wear my cowboy hat. I used to know the words, but, uh, you know, just in case I miss them. I hope you'll all join in and sing with me. Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River. Life is old there, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, blowing like a breeze. Country roads take me home to place. I belong West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home down country roads. All my memories gather round her, miners, ladies, stranger to blue water, dark and dusty. Painted on the sky, misty taste of moonshine, teardrop in my eyes, country roads, take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home down country roads. I hear her voice in the morning hour she calls me Radio reminds me of my home far away Then driving down the road I get a feeling That I should have been home yesterday Yesterday Country roads take me home to the place I belong Mountain Mama, take me home down country roads. Country roads, take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home down country roads. Take me home down country roads. Thank you, thank you, John Denver. That was lovely, Matt. Country roads, one of my favourites. 
and now some more extracts from my diary. Thursday the 10th of June, a partial eclipse of the sun. Don't look straight at it. So I tried to take a selfie of me and it over my shoulder, but it kept dodging behind the clouds. Camera shy. Grandson Sean, first year in college, has passed his exams, all six of them, and won't need to repeat anything. We're all thrilled. Saturday the 12th of June. Great excitement. We collected our new car today. New to us. And we go today from driving a 14-year-old car to driving a 3-year-old car. A sober thought, though. Mary and I feel that this one will see us out, as they say. The car was sitting outside the showrooms, ready for us, and it had a huge pink ribbon wrapped around it. A bit over the top, Kieran thought. It's not a present. You're paying big money for it. But I don't care. I just liked that touch. We got a manual with the car and I asked about the service history, usually a separate booklet, but they couldn't give it to me. Why not? GDPR. Data Protection. Did you ever hear the likes of it? Monday the 14th of June, first real journey in our new car to City West with daughter Jane for her first vaccination. This is one huge operation. I heard they were vaccinating something like three and a half thousand people today. Marvellous. There were half a dozen chairs, yes, half a dozen chairs for people like me, drivers. And I sat for more than an hour just watching the people as they came out after their vaccination. And you know what? Only one of them, a man, showed any sign of jubilation. I was struck by that, only one. And I'm sure a thousand people must have walked past me in the time I was there. He and I just happened to look at each other at the same time and I could see his eyes above his mask creased in a smile and he did a fist pump as he looked at me one in a thousand and he's the one I remember from today that's it more next week thank you Paddy Matt has already celebrated the birthday of an Irish legend John McCormick and we'll now celebrate the birthday of another Irish legend, the poet William Butler Yeats. His birthday was on the 13th of June, so that was celebrated last week. He was born in 1865. Theresa Carley will now read his poem, When You Were Old. And this is from the concert by Theresa and her daughter Louise with Owen McGale on piano specially recorded for Meath County Library as part of their Baltina celebrations last month. Following the poem, Theresa and Louise will perform She Moved Through the Fair. Shinna Wildan Shockton Show, that's the lot for this week. As usual, we hope you enjoyed our programme and we hope to see you again next week. In the meantime, stay safe God bless. In the meantime, hold firm, stay safe, and God bless. Uh, so now we come to our Irish section, and uh, W.B. Yeats, one of our well-loved Irish poets, doesn't need any introduction really. Uh, I particularly like his love poems. And since Bialthony is a celebration of creativity as we age, I'm going to read When You Are Old. And this will be followed by yet another well-known traditional Irish song, She Moves Through the Fair, which Louise and I will sing together. So, when you are old and grey and full of sleep and nodding by the fire, take down this book 
and slowly read and dream of the soft look your eyes had once and of their shadows deep. How many loved your moments of glad grace and loved your beauty with love false or true. But one man loved the pilgrim soul in you and loved the sorrows of your changing face. And bending down beside the glowing bars, murmur a little sadly how love fled and paced upon the mountains overhead and hid his face among a crowd of stars. My young love said to me, my mother who won't mind. And my father won't slide you for your lack of kind. And she stepped away from me, and this she did say, It will not be long, love, till next market day. 